Hey everyone, New312 here, and welcome back to my next review session. This time it's going to be Fate Apocrypha. I have zero expectations going into this, so in the first two episodes, I kind of just sat back and I'm going to enjoy servants that I can. Serve that Those including, obviously, Mordred and Jean. Straight up, that was going to be who I liked. Uh, notables that surprised me? more than I anticipated was I didn't know about uh Sharon Chiron one of those other one centaur boy I didn't know I was gonna like him he he seems nice he's probably gonna die like first because he's just nice and same with her the, her his master she's probably gonna die because you know people in wheelchairs and anime always fare well always uh, Estolfo. I actually thought I was gonna hate him. Honest to God. He wasn't that bad. He got me some chuckles. It's like, whatever. I really thought I was gonna, like, despise him. Even though he's being, uh, raped, tortured, either one, by his master. Uh, I don't like that, but... She'll probably die, hopefully. I don't want that to go on for too long. But I was really anticipating disliking him, and I actually don't. I think he's really funny surprising uh mordred she's way better than what i fucking anticipated like in fgo or whatever like she's great in that but she's even better here just the overwhelming confidence her relationship with the ma his, her master amazing best pair by far it won't even be close no one else is close at all like there's lacking of synergy between other people or they just aren't as interesting they're both interesting and really really strong in their relationships together and that's awesome that's why i like to see hopefully we'll focus on them and not everyone else the format of the war is really fucking weird not gonna lie having a seven on seven in a 14 servant tournament it's kind of weird I don't know why they wouldn't just go with one-on-ones for a free-for-all in 14. Because there's really no point in working together as a team. Since you're going to fail, or you're going to have to kill each other anyway, why would you make bonds with your team? It would only slow you down in the future. Which I know the douchebag uh, Black Saber Master uh, sees it that way. Uh, assumingly, or he's just a douchebag. Either way, he's a douchebag anyways. <laughs> but he sees it the same way in that it isn't smart to get too attached and too familiar with each other. Even though you're on the same side, you aren't going to just stay on the same side. Which I just think that's not really that good. I mean, you're not... Generally speaking, you wouldn't imagine teams would work too well together knowing that hey if if this was the last red or black servant i would have to turn around and kill you where you stand like it's just that kind of mentality that's like once we're down to like two i'm saying like a lot ignore that once we're down to two servants on the other team and we saw like five or something I'm going to probably work against my own team at that point because there's only two servants on the other side. And if I can assume the four other servants on my team are stupid and still attack the other side, I can get some free kills on the side. That being said, everyone's going to think that way. So it's just going to degenerate into a bunch of fucking backstabbing when the smart plan is just having a core alliance with three or four people because it's 14 people. So having just one or two people is probably not that good. You'll want a three or four other people on your team. To like really have a strong front against people. Though Mordred's going it alone. Same with their master. So it's going to end terribly. I already know. They're going to lose. I'm going to be upset. And I'm going to say it's bullshit. Just a forewarning. I can already foreshadow it. But it's, I just, I'm not crazy about the format right now. I might warm up to it later, but eh, I just think it's, eh, 
eh, kind of a waste of time almost. Because I doubt the team lines are going to be really defined. Because the servants aren't like colored differently. They're just servants. Even the team, like they look kind of similar on blue team. Or black team. It should just be red and blue. First off, let's not do red and black. That's just It's red and blue, okay? Fuck off. It's easier that way. So if I say blue, I mean black. But there's no like color differentiation. And... I just don't know if I'll, I'm crazy about it. I'd, I'd have rather just done a free-for-all, 14 servants, rather than two sevens. Especially when the two sevens are going to have to fight each other anyway. Like, have it be two separate Grail Wars, so everyone gets, like, juiced up once your team wins, and then you separate, and then it's a new Grail War. I think that would have been better than just having it just be one giant Grail War. Personally, my humble opinion. Other servants, now that I don't like or just don't care about, Vlad, the Impaler, I, oh, they didn't have to spell out his name, having a bunch of fucking people on spikes in the forest really isolates who he is. <laughs> I think he's going to be just fucking boring as shit. I think that's what, there's going to be a giant issue that's just a fucking massive cast. There's going to be a lot of people that are irrelevant, boring. Frankenstein's master, don't care. Or Frankenstein's monster, master. Oh, there's so many apostrophes, asses in that. Oh, her master, boring. He can fucking die. Her, I'm not sold on. Again, berserker grunting. Uh, can we just have her talk? Like, come on, please, please. I hate wasting a Berserker class on someone that can't fucking talk. It's really frustrating. Because I want characters talking, not being silent or grunting. Um, Fucking douchebag, his servant, don't care, boring. Next. Um, Next. Simi Ramos and... Uh, Shiro, of course. Of course! <laughs> Fucking Shiro Kotamine. Good god. Uh, if both of them... Well, Shiro is obviously evil. 100%. Couldn't have even illustrated it any better. You didn't need the ending scene of episode 1 about Karna or whatever. Or episode 2, whatever, whichever one it was. I think it was episode 2. Telling Karna that he needs to go attack John. Like, you don't need that part. You can already tell he's evil. Same with Simi Ramos. You can tell she's evil just by how she talks, how she stands. Mordred sees it as well. I want her to die already. I will be happy if she dies and loses. She's evil. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm going to be mad if she's involved in Mordred dying. I'll be really upset. Really mad. I'll be mad at it either way. Okay, let's be honest. Uh, other people. Uh, gold guy. I don't know if they said his name or if they did. I don't remember. <laughs> what the fuck is he on about? Making fucking golems out of nowhere? Is that really going to be just his job? That was kind of funny that... Uh, that's just literally been his whole existence. Being summoned early. Just making fucking golems. So they don't get railed on. Because that's how bad he is. Uh, I think that was all of the servants really of note that we saw. We didn't see all of them. Obviously it's 30 minutes. And 14 servants need to be shown. That's crazy. But I mean if I had to guess on a team who's going to win. It's definitely going to be black. They're just a unified front. There'd be no way they would lose, theoretically speaking. Because dude even mentioned it, even though he's a shitbag. He mentioned that they're all working together. It's like an army, blah, 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 blah. That kind of stuff, it's really going to be apparent on any one-on-one -on -one fight. They'll be like four on one. They'd be easily able to clean up all the other servants. It's not going to play out that way because they'll be stupid. 
but on paper they should win. Red team will probably win. Because, you know, that's just how it's going to end up being. No, would, no one else besides Mordred would win on red. The odds of Mordred winning are like 2%. And that 2% is my dream. So I just can't see it happening. But who knows? I'll have to see you next time. Hopefully 3 and 4 will be a little more Mordred. A little more other servants that I'll care about. And a little less of Astolfo's master. A little more of her dying. That would be nice. Surprise, surprise. Turns at every corner. Didn't know what was going to happen. If you told me two months ago I'd be into Astolfo, think he's cool, I'd have laughed at you and said you're stupid. Weird times indeed. Weird times indeed. But so far, so good. I can't complain much about it. I mean, I, other than the sound effects, I really don't like the overblown, blown-out bass. Bad. It is just bad sound design. It's so fucking obnoxious. That's the one thing I really hate about this. The opening's good, though. I, I can I can chill with the opening. It's got a... Almost like a horror theme to it. I don't know why it's horror-themed, but it it sounds good. I like it. But thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next week where we'll go over three and four. More Jean, more Mordred, and it'll be amazing. I'll love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out Patreon. Check out the Discord link. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.